Now I definitely need a hat for this video. I got the Venom shirt on though. Kind of. Oh, it's. I guess it's backwards. Wait. It's backwards for me, but maybe not for you. Got a hot Cheetos hat. We could do that. Templar hat. Mother shit. Damn Nerf gun, man. Nice. My sunflower hat really eh, kind of fits. And we're gonna rock the sunflower hat today. Anyway, hey, what up? My name is Miles, and why did I freeze? I feel like I never know how to follow up that sentence. It's always like, hey, what's up? My name's Miles, or hey, what up? I'm Miles, but I never know what to say next because I could say a lot. I could say, like, welcome to another video, but that's kind of redundant. Like, you click the video, you know it's a new video. I could say welcome back, but what if you've just been watching my videos all day? That would be pretty cool. That was a selfless plot. Oh, dude, I gotta get to the point of these videos faster. Shit, where'd my phone go? Oh, that's responsible. Anyway, so the last video we posted was how to repaint a Jason mask. And in that same vein, the next video we're going to post is how to repaint a ghost face mask. This is the end result. So it's kind of a bit of a teaser for the next video. So if you see in this video, you get to see what it looks like. But I wanted to throw a quicker video in the mix because I have that one done already and I have time to make another video. So I ran a quick poll on the community tab to see what you guys wanted to see between the two video ideas I had. The first option was how to advance your Spider-Man poses. The second was three places to get a Spider-Man suit and three places to not get a Spider-Man suit. And with a 84% landslide, the second option absolutely smoked out the first one. So I'm a man of my word and I'm going to give you guys what you voted for. In this video, I'm going to show you guys three places that you can get a good quality Spider-Man suit and three places you should absolutely never look for a Spider-Man suit. If you're familiar with me, my content, or this page, you know that Spider-Man is my favorite character of all time and my favorite cosplay that I wear. I do it very consistently. It's the one that I wear the most often no matter what. And Spider-Man is kind of the character I'm known for cosplaying over the other characters I do cosplay. Which is actually kind of sad, because I do cosplay other characters, they just don't really get the same love or spotlight Spider-Man does. No shade though. But if you're new to my page, then that was kind of my intro. I'm a Spider-Man cosplayer and I've been doing it for enough years where I finally feel comfortable where I can start helping other people start their cosplay journey. Giving you tips and tricks, giving you little guides to help you on things that I needed help with but had to figure out. Because I know cosplaying can as fun as it is, can be really stressful, not knowing what to get, where to get it, what different pieces are, all that stuff. So in this video, like I said, I'm going to be showing you three vendors that you can go to for a Spider-Man suit and three that you should absolutely avoid at all costs. When it comes to a Spider-Man suit, there are a lot of different pieces to it. You have the actual suit, you have different variations of the suit, you have zippers, gloves, shoes, padding, mask, face shell, lenses, under undergarments that you need to wear, all of it. In this video, I'm not going to cover all of those things. I'm only going to be talking about the vendors, but lucky for you, I have videos on literally all of those things. I have a video on face shells, what they are, breaking them down, where to get them, all that stuff. I also have a video on the undergarments, what you should wear under a Spider-Man suit, breaking it down and vendors you can get them from. Or if you want to order your first Spider-Man suit, I have that ultimate guide right there, breaking down every little option that you can get for your Spider-Man suit. What you're looking for, all the options, the variations, everything. I'll leave all three of those videos linked down below for more specific tutorials on each one, but like I said for this video we're talking about the vendors. So like I said, I've cosplayed Spider-Man a decent amount of times. I have a decent amount of suits, decent amount of characters. I think at this point I have four good quality suits and about five bad quality ones. Maybe don't hold me to that, I could be wrong. But I say all that to say I've had my fair share of experience on where to go for a suit as well as my fair experience on everyone else's suits and where they get them from, the quality of them, all that stuff. I have also seen a fair share of very bad suits and I own very bad suits and I can show you exactly where they are and where not to go. I know that cosplaying can sometimes be very expensive and I understand the budget purposes. I understand not wanting to spend a million dollars on a suit. I get it. Trust me, of all people, I'm broke. Your boy is kind of struggling right now. But in terms of a good quality Spider-Man suit, you'd never want to sacrifice quality for money. It's always a smarter idea to save a little bit more money to get a reliable good suit versus taking a risk and just dice rolling on a bad quality suit. So what about those bad quality suits? Where do you get the bad quality suits and where should you absolutely avoid never buying a Spider-Man suit from? There are a lot of places that you shouldn't get a Spider-Man suit from. There's a lot of knockoff sites. There's a lot of one and done sites that get taken down. There's a lot of crappy advertisements everywhere. There's a lot of places that you shouldn't go. But the three that I want to talk about, because I see it the most, 
and I always get people DMing me about, oh, can I get a Spider-Man suit here? Should I get this here? I saw this here. These are the three that you should always, always, always avoid. Number one is like Halloween or party stores. So like Spirit Halloween or Party City. As much as I like these stores, they're not the place to get a professional quality Spider-Man suit for your cosplays. The second place I see is Amazon. Now, I know this one can be tempting because it's very convenient. They have a quote unquote size chart. Everybody uses Amazon and everybody can get them in Amazon and they look decent quality, but they're not really the third place this is the absolute no the other two were kind of like budget no's this one is an absolute no you will lose your money and you will get scammed never get a spider-man suit off of aliexpress or wish those two sites both aliexpress and wish are scam websites that make you think you're getting good deals because they're getting you very crappy products and they steal so let's talk about each one a little bit more the first one party stores costume stores halloween stores all that stuff when it gets to halloween time a lot of stores will up the amount of costumes that they have. They'll have a bunch of different costumes for like kids, teens, all that stuff, right? And you might see a Spider-Man suit in one of those stores. That's just, that, that's what happens, you know? Halloween's coming up, they want people to buy their stuff. Now, if you're just getting a Spider-Man suit for like a party, maybe you're trick-or-treating, maybe your younger sibling wants to get a Spider-Man suit, they wanna be Spider-Man or Spider-Gwen or Miguel for Halloween, whatever they wanna be. These aren't the worst options, you know, if it's a cheap suit and they don't really care about the, it being reliable, they don't care about it being sustainable, they don't care about having like the most accurate or professional look, then yeah, these are actually pretty good options. They're fairly cheap, they're fairly accessible, and they come around once a year, you know? But this video is specifically more targeted at cosplayers or people who want to cosplay Spider-Man in a more professional sense, but I don't really like using the term professional. Essentially, you just want a good quality Spider-Man suit that looks good, that you can have for a decent amount of time. You can take to conventions, you can take on photo shoots, you can take cosplaying, all of those things. A Halloween party store costume is probably not the one you wanna go with. Like I said, for short-term use, for just Halloween parties, trick-or-treating, basic, like having fun, go for it. It's not the worst option. You're gonna get something good. And the one pro of this is you can actually touch it and feel it in the store to see if it works. But again, it's not like the high quality stuff. You know, this is more preface towards people who want that high quality stuff and if you want that don't go there the second place is amazon like i said i know this is very convenient it's very accessible everyone knows how to use amazon and they have the measuring chart right the reason i put quotations around the measuring chart is both amazon and the party city stores like the halloween costumes they do the same thing of they have a size chart but it's just scaling the suit upwards in every single dimension so it's scaling the chest the shoulders the height the arms, it's scaling everything up in a boxed dimension. And what a boxed dimension is, is essentially like if you took a box like this and you sized it up, it would size up evenly like that, right? Now, you might not think that that's a big deal. You might think that, oh yeah, if I'm taller, I'm gonna need a bigger suit. But the reason this is a bad thing when they do the boxed dimension, like a fixed dimension size, is because when you're ordering a Spider-Man suit, you want custom sizing, you want custom dimensions, you want every piece of your body to have a separate measurement for your suit so it fits perfectly. You want your chest to be measured, you want your arms to be measured, you want all of that stuff to be measured specifically. These stores don't do that. They have a fixed measurement system that just moves up in one way and it's never gonna be a guarantee that it fits. Now, the one defense I have for Amazon is the same defense I gave for the Halloween store. If you're on a budget, you want a cheap suit, you want a quicker suit, go for it. You know, they're not the worst quality, but they're not going to keep up with like a good photo shoot. They're not going to keep up at a convention. They work, yes, but they're not going to do what you want them to do. Because if you're watching this video, I have a basic idea that I know what kind of suit you want, and that's not the one you want. The one benefit of both of those, like I said, they're cheap and they're accessible and they work, but this is about taking those costumes to the next level and speaking to an audience of cosplayers who wants a very good quality Spider-Man suit. Now, the third place. This one I have absolutely no defense for. I have nothing good to say about it and I will never defend it in any way. Wish.com or AliExpress. Don't even type these websites in. Don't even look at the websites. If you see that something is advertised for these websites, don't go into it. Wish.com, I don't know if it's still like a thing now. I was that one dumb kid who spent a lot of money on Wish because it looks like they're good deals. You get like a sweater for three bucks, right? But then they upcharge the shipping and you're paying $23, which is essentially just the price of a sweater. I ended up buying Spider-Man suits off of Wish because I thought that they were good. I looked at the photos and I thought they were good. Come to find out when the suit showed up, it was the worst quality item of clothing I have ever seen in my entire life. It was the worst. It had the frog arm effect. It had all of it. It was terrible. It was see-through cloth, see-through fabric, didn't stretch 
awful. It was like wearing a onesie. Now, the reason that I was fooled was because they had good quality photos on them. It didn't occur to my mind when I was that young that they could have stolen those photos. But a couple weeks ago, something fun happened to me I went on AliExpress because somebody sent me a link saying, hey, check this out. One of my friends, by the way, I didn't click a random link. Don't do that, that's stupid. One of my friends check, sent me a link, said, hey, check this out. And it was my photo, my Spider-Man cosplay photo used on AliExpress for them to market their Miles Morales suit. So I wasn't even really mad, I wasn't pissed. I just saw it and I told my audience like, yo, this is not me, this is not the suit you're gonna get. They're selling a crappy suit and they're using my photo. I don't want somebody to get scammed out of money the way I was back then. I don't want somebody to buy a bad suit thinking it's good because of the photo. They stole my photo. They're using it to market a very crappy suit for $20. You will not get a good quality Spider-Man suit for $20. You will get a basic onesie that won't hold up in any way you want it to. And again, they're stealing photos. So obviously that's going to say something about the quality of the suit. I didn't even get that suit off of AliExpress. That's my good quality suit and they took a picture of it using it to market their bad suit. So. To sum up, Wish and AliExpress, don't go there. Never go there. Never get anything from there. They steal photos, they scam people, they sell bad quality products. Now, I know there's probably a million other websites that have like these same photos. I would highly recommend that you don't go to a website that seems sketchy. If something seems like it's too good to be true, that's probably because it is. Unfortunately, I hate to be the guy to tell you, but someone has to tell you, Spider-Man suits of a good quality are not going to be that cheap. The cheapest you will get a good quality Spider-Man suit for with limited variations is $120 around that area ish ish big big ish things things vary like I said I hate to be the guy to tell you but I kind of wish someone told me that the reason I'm able to tell you all these sites are bad and all these places are bad is because your boy was the one who bought them from all these sites when I was a little bit younger wanted to get into cosplay your boy your boy messed up all right but if I can prevent one of you guys from making that mistake I definitely will. So it might sound like I'm being harsh and that that's because I am, you know? I don't want somebody to spend their money on a site like this and think they're getting a good quality suit when there are actual places that you can get a good quality suit. Speaking of which, that was a good segue. Where do you get the good quality suits? Well, this video is not all negative. This video is actually very positive. I'm warning you three places not to get one, but let's help you out. Let's give you some places to actually get a Spider-Man suit from. There are, again, a lot of places you can get a good Spider-Man suit from. If you see a cosplayer online, odds are that they're going to tag the print shop. They're going to tag whoever either made the design or made the suit. Oftentimes, there are two factors of a Spider-Man suit. There's the designer of the pattern and the actual printmaker. If you see a cosplayer online that you like, you like their photos, definitely make sure to check out like their description their bio, check out where they get their suits. Or last resort, just send them a DM. Say, hey, I love your suits. Where do you get them? Or send, or write a comment or something. Say, hey, I love your suits. Where do you get them? Anyway, so like I said, there's a couple places that you could get them. I'm going to give you my three recommendations of places that you can go. Number one is RPC Studio. RPC is kind of like the Goliath of Spider-Man suits. They probably have the best Spider-Man suits you will ever get. They have the best quality, the best fabric, the best layering, the best textures, the best designs, the best options. They have the best of pretty much everything. They're, most people know them as kind of the head honcho of the Spider-Man suit community. They have probably the best selection that you're going to find. However, the big thing about RPC is people always say the same thing. It's the best, but it's the most expensive. RPC is the most expensive site that I have personally seen, but that is for good reason. It's the only site I've ever seen that gives you multiple options of like different fabrics, different textures, different layering options. You can actually get like leather on your suit or raised fabric on your suit over the other just normally puff painted suits. I highly recommend if you have the budget for a very good Spider-Man suit and you can drop a decent chunk of money on it, check out RPC. If it's out of your budget, I have two other options for you. If it's in your budget, you can afford it. That is a fantastic option for Spider-Man suits that you can get. I've seen a lot of people order from RPC. I have nothing but good things to say about RPC, but take all of this with a grain of salt because I myself have not ordered from RPC. I don't, or, I don't own an RPC Studio suit yet. I want to, but I don't own one yet. I'm simply speaking from reviews. I'm speaking from observing other people's suits and I'm speaking from their reviews on their site and I'm speaking from the reviews of cosplayers I know and trust from their site. Number two. Number two is a site that I also don't use but I have heard a lot of good things about it. I've heard some bad things about it too but like any other good print shop there's going to be good and bad reviews. That's just life. That's what happens. The second option is Hero Stein. Hero Stein also has a great variety of designs, suits, and is a fantastic print shop in both quality and price. They offer a lot of these same kinds of variations and different sort of specialties that you can make 
and have on your suit. So different zippers, glove options, shoe options, all that. Again, they kind of work the same way. They're just a print shop and they have a variety of designs from different artists who have designed the suit patterns. I'm keeping this one kind of quick because again, personally, I haven't used Hero Style. I haven't used that website. I don't know, but I've looked on it and it has a lot of the same features of the other sites. And I've seen, again, a lot of trusted cosplayers that I personally know, that I've seen their work, that I'm mutuals with, that use Hero Style and speak nothing but good facts about it. Now, number three, I've saved this one for last because this is where I personally get my suits. When people ask, where do I get my suits? I always give them this answer because this is where I personally have always bought my Spider-Man suits from. From my first ever Miles Morales suit to my most recent Miles Morales suit and everything in between. Number three is print costume. If you are familiar with me, my page, my work, my Spider-Man, my cosplays, anything, that website should ring a bell. That should sound very familiar because that is where I get my Spider-Man suits from. I have since ordered probably four or five suits from them and I trust print costume with my suit design process every single time. Every single photo you've seen of me as Spider-Man online, whether it's on TikTok and I'm making a video, it's my photos that my photographer has taken, any of that, that is a print costume suit. Print costume offers a large variety of suit designs themselves. They have fantastic printing quality and they have great variations and their site is very easy to use. Again, if you click on this video of how to order your first Spider-Man suit, that's the site that I'm using in the video to show you every single step of the way, what to do, explaining what the options are, and showing you how you can pick your best Spider-Man suit based on your wants, needs, and preferences. The reason I speak so heavily on print costumes behalf, again, like I said, is because I've always used them and they've never steered me wrong. I've never gotten a bad suit from them. I've never had any bad interactions with them. Now. I will be dead honest though, there is one part of print costumes kind of process that I'm not personally a fan of. I've gotten hundreds of DMs about this, I've gotten a lot of comments about this. This is the one thing that is kind of sketchy is the confirmation and shipping part. So when you order from print costume, you don't really get like an email confirmation, you don't get an order confirmation, you don't really get that. Sometimes you'll get the shipping confirmation. And when you get that shipping confirmation, it's not accurate. It will say processing and it will say processing the entire time until the suit arrives at your door. It doesn't give you very much tracking information and it's not very dated or in real time. It's kind of an, an unnerving and anxious process to be completely honest with you. The only reason I put so much faith in it is because I've done it like four times, but I totally understand how it's a little concerning when you order something and you don't get the confirmation and you order it through PayPal and it seems a little weird. I get it, trust me, I do. I've actually had a couple issues with that before where they've doubled my payment unknowingly they didn't mean to and just the order didn't go through but you can very easily solve that by just emailing them saying hey this is what went wrong can you please check it send them the order number and they'll fix it they fixed both my problems within the same day it was easy but that doesn't take away from the fact that i use print costume and i still do very much speak good things on their behalf that they have the best suits for me personally now if i had the ability i would order suits from all of these sites to see but like i said your boy's kind of struggling right now I'm not in a position where I can drop a bunch of money on new Spider-Man suits. I actually haven't had a new suit since the Across the Spider-Verse Miles suit in like May. So that's rough. Now, like I said in the other videos, the face shell video, the ordering your suit, all of those videos, there are other parts of a suit that you might need to consider. The most notable one being the face shell. If you don't know what a face shell is, it, oh shit. If you don't know what a face shell is, it's essentially this. It is the mask. It's not a fabric mask. It is a hard plastic shell with magnetic eyes that pop on and off. If you want more details and a breakdown on face shells, where to go, where to get them, how to size them, all that stuff, again, check out that video, your face shell guide, all of that stuff. The basic kind of preface of them is they are 3D printed shells with magnetic lenses that the print shops don't actually sell. You have to get them from a third party vendor, whether it's on Etsy, Instagram, Facebook Marketplace, anywhere, like you have to get them somewhere else, get them specially made to your face, all of those things. The actual fabric mask, you can get off of the site. So you can get off print costume and RPC, all of that. Some of the print shops actually offer face shells themselves, so it's worth checking out. But if you want a more specific one, you might have to check a third party vendor. Anyway, that was a lot of talking, but I hope it was worth it to help somebody and guide somebody into their Spider-Man cosplay journey. I understand that it could be very tempting to get a cheap suit, but again, I don't want you to be disappointed. I don't want you to be disappointed if you get a suit that doesn't look good or doesn't feel good, all of those things. I would much rather you save your money and spend it on a good quality investment suit that you can personally trust and is a reliable suit for the long run. I will leave links to the good sites down below to all the other videos that might help you in ordering your first Spider-Man suit. If you have a question about ordering a Spider-Man suit, feel free to leave a comment. I try my, 
Wow, that hurt. If you have a question about anything, question, comment, concerns, queries about ordering your suit, or this video, maybe you don't like my shirt or you don't like my hat. If you do, then jerk, this is a cool hat. If you have any concerns, questions, anything like that about ordering a suit, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I always try to get back to every single comment to try to help you guys in anything that you might need. Anyway, like I said, next video is how to repaint the Scream mask. And make sure you check out the previous video of how to repaint the Jason mask. I really want to push those Halloween themed repaint videos because I think those are really fun and I really do enjoy them. Anyway, that's going to close out for this video. Peace and love, do good things, and I'll see everybody in that next one. Peace. Yeah,